The Midnight Suns are rising. Here's a breakdown of all the main Marvel characters spotted in the trailer for Firaxis Games' Marvel's Midnight Suns, though fans will have to wait until the game's March 2022 release date to see if any of their other faves appear. Hi, I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Patience. The first hero seen in the trailer is not one traditionally associated with magic or the occult, Captain America. The first Avengers member, Steve Rogers, was a soldier in World War II before volunteering for Project Rebirth, which saw him injected with the Super Soldier Serum. The only one of its kind, the serum enhanced Rogers' physical attributes to superhuman levels, including agility, reflexes, stamina, and strength. He was also given a disc-shaped shield made of a vibranium proto-adamantium steel alloy with aerodynamic properties, 9 destructibility, and easy utility as an effective weapon. Captain America has fought against all sorts of villains, from Nazis to rogue super soldiers and aliens, but at no point has he ever been a member of the Midnight Suns. He's faced enemies of the more supernatural or magical variety before, however, such as Dormammu and the Serpent. And at the trailer's end, he's seen sporting gold-tinted armor and a shield adorned with mystical symbols. Another of the first heroes we see in the trailer is Tony Stark, aka Iron Man a brilliant inventor, industrialist, and weapons manufacturer who builds a succession of Iron Man suits. Each suit is capable of flight, augments Tony's strength, resiliency, and defense, and gives him a variety of powers and capabilities to fight various foes in specific contexts. As Iron Man, Tony became a foundational member of the Avengers, though like Captain America, he was never a member of the Midnight Suns in their brief comics run. Iron Man has developed suits for other heroes, most notably James Rhodes' War Machine armor and Peter Parker's Iron Spider suit. Most importantly, his endless capacity for tinkering has produced an exhaustive array of powerful suits for every situation one can think of. From his Hydro armor to his Silver Centurion armor and even his famous Hulkbuster suit. While Iron Man isn't typically the first call against magical enemies, he has developed armors for the task. While the armor Tony wears in the trailer doesn't seem to be based on these designs, it no doubt was built for fighting magical nemeses. Major Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, is easily one of the more powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe. Turn off the light show and prove, prove to me, you can beat me with that. While she gains powers from exposure to the Tesseract and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the comics her powers derive from exposure to the Psyche Magnetron, a Kree machine that can alter living beings, giving them superpowers. The effect transformed her into a Kree-human hybrid gifted with vast superhuman strength, stamina, agility, and durability, as well as flight. She has enhanced healing, the ability to sometimes have precognition over enemy attacks, and can control, absorb, and manipulate different kinds of energy, including the ability to emit blasts and change matter at the molecular level. Captain Marvel isn't typically associated with magic or magical villains, and she's certainly not connected with the Midnight Suns in the comics. Recent storylines have put Captain Marvel directly into magical territory, attempting to learn the mystical arts to avoid a potential weakness that will provoke a dark future. After many magical heroes refuse to aid her learning, she turns to the Asgardian Enchantress Amora, a dangerous bargain indeed. It is unknown if the game will draw from these stories or provide a different one, but the Suns certainly have a powerhouse on their side. Dr. Stephen Strange started out as a neurosurgeon before becoming a master of the mystic arts, and eventually Earth's Sorcerer Supreme upon the death of his mentor, the Ancient One. The catalyst for his career shift was a fateful car accident that damaged his hands. It led him to seek out the mystical Kamar Taj in Tibet, whose magical capacities allowed him to heal himself before taking on the mantle of the Sorcerer Supreme. In Marvel parlance, he often uses a form of eldritch magic, allowing him to achieve vast magical feats through various incantations and hand movements, often with an orange energetic tint. If it's a magical feat, he can perform it – astral projection, flight, telepathy, magical bolts, protective shields, transportation portals, transmutation, and a variety of other spells. He's one of the most powerful sorcerers in all reality. He's a founder of the Midnight Suns in the comics, and undoubtedly central to the game's world. The Ghost Riders are a team of spirits of vengeance with mysterious origins. The most common interpretation is that they are typically benevolent beings who protect humanity as exemplars of divine power and wrath. Though it's sometimes posited that they may derive their powers from Mephisto and serve his will. It's complicated. There have been many Ghost Riders over the years, given that it's more of a position than a person. 
but each has near godlike supernatural power. One of the more well known iterations of the character is former stuntman Johnny Blaze. <laughs> But the current version and the one who appears in the game is Robbie Reyes, a young man who was burned alive in his car by criminals before becoming possessed and emerging as a Ghost Rider. While transformed into the Ghost Rider, they each have strength, speed, and durability that rival even the toughest heroes, as well as regeneration, pyrokinesis, supernatural chains, and a penance stare that provokes its target to feel all the pain and suffering they've caused innocence. Ghost Riders were pivotal in the foundation of the Midnight Suns as some of the most important supernatural entities in the Marvel Universe. In Runaways, a group of teenagers discover that their superpowered parents are part of The Pride, an evil criminal organization, and they band together in an attempt to thwart the group's evil plans. After an initial betrayal, the group comes to be led by Nico Minoru, the daughter of Dark Wizards. While her technologies change over her comic's history, Nico has an odd ability. Whenever she bleeds, a weapon called the Staff of One appears to allow her to bend magic and cast almost any spell imaginable. She's an extremely powerful mage, with powers deriving from dark magic. Nico hasn't historically been a member of the Midnight Suns, but she's a great member of the team deeply connected to the magical arts as well as extremely powerful. It's no accident that in the trailer, the hunter re-emerges from the combined magical abilities of Doctor Strange, Nico, and the Ghost Rider. It takes adept and powerful magic, and Nico has that and more. I know how you feel about it, Wolverine, but... Oh! You know nothing, little man. One of the most resilient, superpowered beings, Wolverine is the alias of James Howlett, who later adopted the moniker Logan. Born in 19th century Canada, Logan has claws in each hand, keen animalistic senses, and a regenerative healing factor that renders him almost entirely immune to damage. Wolverine's famous temper is an unfortunate side effect of his combination of powers, as every time he uses his claws, they rip through newly healed skin and cause him extensive pain. His essential invulnerability was further augmented when the Weapon X program affixed a nigh indestructible metal adamantium to his bones, making the already invincible man even more impervious to damage. While Wolverine is nearly invulnerable, he's not traditionally associated with opposing mystical combatants and certainly isn't a traditional member of the Midnight Suns. He's not unfamiliar with magical terrain, however, having served on the X-Men with magic and the Scarlet Witch. In the trailer, he's clearly augmented with runes and other magically adapted properties, and we see him fight as a powerhouse against Lilith's foot soldiers. While the Midnight Suns game would include a dozen Marvel heroes that range from the popular to the less well-known, the game is also notable for creating a customizable original character with a backstory deeply connected to Lilith and her dark plans, the Hunter. The long-hibernating daughter of Lilith, the mother of demons, she's an original creation with an axe to grind against her apocalypse-demanding mother. The trailer sees our Midnight Suns heroes casting an apparently difficult, powerful spell to release the Hunter as part of their strategy to stop Lilith's plans to unleash the deadly Marvel villain Chatan against the world. It's up to the Hunter to bring balance, and according to the creator of Marvel's Midnight Suns, the Hunter's attributes will be highly customizable. She'll have over 40 powers and abilities to choose from. She'll fight alongside Marvel titans like Iron Man, Captain America, and Doctor Strange, and boasts a strong pedigree for a new character as the daughter of one of the Marvel Universe's most powerful foes. Mother. Lilith is a powerful and ancient entity with a history that predates humanity. Lilith reportedly was pivotal in early human development, seducing Adam, the first man, and becoming his first wife before abandoning him and their children. Her children were murdered, and Lilith vowed revenge against our species. One of her earlier re-emergences was in Atlantis 20,000 years ago, where she opposed the original order of the Midnight Suns. She has a long history of joining pantheons, ruling kingdoms, and causing chaos, and she has a huge array of powers to do so. Her attributes sometimes vary, but she's always a formidable sorceress whose powers include green energy blasts, protective walls, teleportation, and other skills. Most notably, Lilith can spawn a variety of demons known as Lilin, powerful creatures who are typically extremely loyal to her. And she also gains more power relative to the number of them on Earth. In the original Midnight Suns comics, the organization forms in order to combat Lilith and her plans on Earth, so the game seems to be a fairly straightforward adaptation on that front. There are a number of other villains shown in the trailer, and these are most likely going to be explained as Lilin of some variety. 
Blade, also known as Eric Brooks, is perhaps the most famous literary dampier or half-human half-vampire. His mother was killed by Deacon Frost, and certain vampire traits were passed along in the womb without transforming him into a full-fledged vampire. Blade spends his life at war against vampires. Originally in the comics, Blade had no real superhuman abilities other than a resistance to being turned by a vampire, and possible resistance against vampire hypnosis. Once bitten by Mobius the living vampire, he became far closer to a true dampier with a healing ability and other superhuman traits. Blade is a scourge to vampires, but not widely known for his adeptness wielding the magical arts. That said, he's been a pivotal member of the Midnight Suns team before. The Night Stalkers, Blade, Frank Drake, and Hannibal King were all key members, and from the trailer, it looks like Blade will get some substantial combat duty here. The trailer sees him involved in major plot elements like the Awakening of the Hunter, as well as serving as a key combatant in the later large battle scenes. Ileana Rasputina, also known as Magic, is one of Marvel's mutants who is capable of teleporting over space and time. She was kidnapped at the age of six by Belasco, an ancient demonic sorcerer who worships the Elder Gods, and taken to Limbo for a long period of time. Eventually, she manifests the Soul Sword, allowing her to defeat Belasco. Her use of the Soul Sword makes it more powerful, and she becomes covered with an eldritch armor that gets stronger over time. What's more, she absorbs mystical knowledge from Belasco, Aurora Munro, and even Doctor Strange, becoming the Sorceress Supreme of the Limbo Dimension. Are you crazy? That thing will kill you! He's right, it's magic! So am I. Magic shows off her teleportation powers in the trailer, and sports a fantastically mystical set of eldritch armor in the final scene. Gold, horns, and powerful with a flaming soul sword. No word yet if we'll spend any time in Limbo, but certainly Magic will stand out as one of the more interesting members of the Midnight Suns, a deeply mystical character without a Midnight Suns background, but one who still fits the bill swimmingly. No where to run now. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite things are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.